The coffin lid was unsealed and ever so carefully lifted off. Inside, a perfectly intact mummy, wrapped in fabric with a bit of skull showing. Listen, Molly. Tell me. I'm very happy, I'm very proud of this discovery. Dr. Mustafa Waziri led the Egyptian team that discovered the coffins. His team was digging in the area, but not for that. First, someone spotted a painted wooden face. So they went to the east, they said, ah, yeah, this is the beginning of one out of 18 wooden coffins. How deep? They said, it's only three feet. Then I came with the Minister of Antiquity, quickly, take those 18 coffins away. And then beneath them, there were 12 another coffins. They were like that. So two, exactly. two layers, two layers. Two layers, exactly like this. The two layers of coffins, 30 in all, including two children, hidden in a cachette to protect from thieves and looting. Also protected from the elements, blues, greens, and reds, vibrant 3,000 years later. Look at the edges of the lead and base. Yeah. No missing pieces. It means no termites, which is the termites, they were the most dangerous. Termites love what? Love what? Of course. Now the work begins. Who were these people? Archaeologists know they were powerful, fairly certain they were priests. But what did they die of, and are there more nearby? Just in front of one of the most famous temples in the Valley of the Kings, those mummies were found almost right in front, just a few hundred yards that way. But the entire thing is basically an active excavation site. Check it out over there, and archaeologists say they haven't even found half of what might be buried here. Dr. Waziri puts that number lower. He believes they've only found a third of what might exist. Still out there, the much sought after tomb of Queen Nefertiti. Congratulations. So today they celebrate, feeding hope for the next big discovery. A very happy morning that we found this discovery with Egyptian hands. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Molly Hunter, NBC News, Luxor, Egypt.